So today is Monday. It's a very cold Monday. I'm just happy that I'm working from home because if you remember Mondays and Fridays, we work from home. So office week starts from Tuesday. It's very cold. I've been drinking tea since morning. Haven't eaten though. I'm gonna make myself something to eat shortly. I just had to restart my system because having a little bit of system issues. So I just needed to restart my laptop and then see if they continue and if they do i will have to call our it department to help me fix it but yeah i hope you guys are well and i hope you guys are keeping warm in this weather because we don't want to get sick um it's just been a cozy day been working nothing much has happened i just came back from outside to fetch my package and i will show you guys what's in the box this thing is stressing me out I've been waiting for this package since Friday. The package was supposed to arrive last week Friday and then the courier guy called and I missed his call and then he never called for the second time. I don't know, maybe it's just me, but I think the delivery people are supposed to call you at least twice or three times. He called me once and then I missed his call and then he never called again. And then I got an email saying that um, I'm not reachable and I should provide an alternative number. But the other career company, the people don't just call you once. They call you at least three times. Say that they come to deliver and you are unable to answer the call at that time. Maybe you're in the shower or you're in a meeting or something and you can't answer the call at that time. They will go make other deliveries and then maybe later on before they take the, the stuff that they couldn't deliver for the day back to the hub, they will give you another call to find out if you're actually reachable or you're not reachable that day. So they will call you before they come to the house and tell you that we are like five minutes away or you're 10 minutes away. Maybe at least twice or three times before they take the package back to the hub. So now with this one, he only called me once and I missed his call. And then I received an email stating that I'm not reachable. And I wasn't, I don't know, I was in the bathroom or something. Or I was in the kitchen and I couldn't hear my phone. And then he just said I was not reachable. So today he called me again. So the phone rang while I was busy working. And then by the time I put my eyes on the phone, the phone was done. And then I remembered the number that I saw this number. I got a missed call from this number last week, Friday. So it could be the package. So I called him back. So I'm asking him, are you outside? He's like, no, I've already left. I'm like two minutes away, so I will come back. So I went outside, waited for him, and then I got the package and then yeah and then also while i'm talking about korea companies please be careful if you're in south africa please be careful there's a new scam now with the korea companies uh i've been receiving an sms telling me that there's a package that's coming to me but then it has an outstanding balance that i have to pay and then there's a link on the sms I received the SMS when I went home. I knew that this package was coming. When I was getting the SMS, I thought maybe it could be this package. So now another thing is that the company that sent me this package, they never used that courier company. So I was wondering, maybe it could be a mistake. So now I screenshotted the SMS and then I sent it to one of the ladies that works for the company just to confirm if it's them because i'm not expecting any other package besides this package and then she confirmed that no we don't use that courier company so it's not us so i called the courier company because on the sms there's a reference number i didn't want to click on the link i do not trust any sms that comes with a link so i don't click on links because it happens to most of our clients as well if not all of our clients like people will be receiving sms's to tell them that maybe their accounts are going to be blocked and they have to click on a link on an sms 
the minute you click on the link they have a fake website that looks like our website and then you have to put in your credentials and then the minute you put in your password and your username it's a done deal they got your details so now don't click on the links don't click on any link that comes in on an sms so this one was already suspicious because how can i be receiving a package and then you want me to pay for the package that i'm receiving obviously it didn't make sense it's not like i was sending something i was receiving it i called the career company to confirm while i'm waiting for the consultant to pick up the voiceover already mentioned that there is a scam going around where they make you pay for a package that does not exist but then i still waited to speak to a person just to confirm and be sure and then yeah so the guy did confirm that yes it is a scam if you're not expecting any package or if you are going to be receiving a package we will never make you pay for a package so please be mindful of that don't click on any link on any sms or anywhere don't click on any link rather call the company and confirm and then also when you're talking to a person over the phone listen if the person is sourcing out information from you or the person is confirming your information with you one thing about financial institutions like us for example the company that i work for we will never ask for your information we have your information on our system so when i call you i already know who i'm speaking to and i already have all the information that i need i will ask you a few questions just to confirm if i'm speaking to the correct person but then i will never ask you for your pin number i will never ask you for your card number will never ask you for the CVV number. So I will ask for a few digits from the card number when you are inquiring about your cards, just to confirm if I'm looking at the correct card. Um, and then other than that, we'll never ask you for any information, especially stuff like your passwords, your username. If someone calls you and they want that information, rather hang up, go to the bank, cut the call short, do not entertain the person. Anything, the card number, the pain, the CVV number. Cut the cameras. The weather we have outside. Maria kisses in their comfort food. Nothing else. This weather, it's screaming, my mama's too, some dumbling, maguena, ox tongue, ox tail. Mm, mm. Dijo some nut. You were there, dijo some nut. In Hono Nakazao Posamandla. I saw where that Posamandla and I saw where that Sierra, you were there, dijo some nut. So. While we're on that note, my partner made chicken curry and rice last night and the curry was so good. I ate two bowls and I think there's a little bit left over, which I'm going to warm up now. So yeah, let's make something to eat. <music> So this is the package that I received today. So this is what we have in our box. So they gave us a body cream. Oof. Mm. One thing about also heavenly products the smell the smell the smell god knows what they do with the smell oh mm. it's not part of the campaign this is for me so we have this body cream and then we have a robe this cute branded silk gown and then so this is the star of the show um so also heavenly now has tissue oils um, 
They have the soothing oil. Mm. It smells like lavender. It's got calming lavender. It smells like lavender. Um, it's got jojoba oil and vitamin E to smooth and soften skin. I'm not a fan of lavender, but I am gonna try it. And then we have the nourishing oil. Um, ooh, 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 ooh. This smells good. Mm. Okay, so it's got a rich blend of hydrating agon, marula, and coconut oils to help replenish dry skin. Yep, I'm the one with dry skin, so I'm gonna love this. Okay, and then the last one is the radiance oil. Radiance oil. Mmm, it smells floral. It smells like roses. Okay, so this one has got restoring vitamin E, uh, brightening vitamin C, and Q10 to help promote an even glow. So this is for your skin tone. Mmm. So this is for the skin tone. Ooh, that feels good. It feels very nice on the skin. Mm. I'm excited to try these um, in the next couple of days. I will let you guys know how that goes. So far, I'm sold. So yeah, right now I'm gonna go get dressed not get dressed i'm gonna wear pants my partner has a hockey practice i think at seven he just called me to confirm that he's coming to fetch me so i need to go get dressed i'm just gonna go wear sweatpants wear some socks some sneakers take a jacket and take a blanket because it can get very cold so right now i'm just gonna go get dressed and then i will see you guys tomorrow Today is Thursday. Hmm? It's Wednesday. We're at the office and I was stuck in traffic for the longest time, but luckily I made it. I got here a little bit late, but luckily I made it. So we're here. I'm currently on my first tea break. Then I'm gonna go get coffee. Firstly, I wanted to come and say good morning and then show you guys our outfit for the day. I'm wearing this turtleneck. It was my mom's turtleneck. She got it from Ackermans, but I will not tell you when. And then I'm wearing these pants it's from Truitts, and then these boots from Mr. Price. Let's go get coffee and then go back to work. I will catch up with you guys during lunch.
just finished work right now and then I'm currently waiting for my partner he said he's in the area and then he's going to fetch me so I'm just outside waiting for him and then from there tomorrow I'm not working it's my day off so I'm gonna use the day to create content for the campaign um, just to make sure that I get it over and done with I don't know if I'm gonna do both parts of the content or I'm just gonna do the pictures without the videos and then I don't have a plan at the moment so I'm just gonna wing it and see I'll probably come up with a plan tomorrow I don't know then we'll figure it out so yeah the content is actually due from tomorrow up until the 21st of this month so we still have a lot of time good 10 days but then it will but then i will feel better if i know that i'm done with it and then it's all done morning guys so today is thursday um i just finished taking a shower and washing my face and then i realized that i'm running out of face wash I'm not running out actually i ran out because i have this much left so i'm gonna go to clicks get a face wash from clicks i think i'm gonna go to mr price because there's a top that i want i don't know if they have it i'm just gonna go window shopping hoping that i will find that that top yeah that's what i'm gonna be doing today just a quick stop at clicks and a quick stop at Mr. Price and then I have to come back and take pictures for the content while the sun is still out. So today it's actually sunny but it's still cold because it's winter. Hopefully I will be able to come back while the sun is still out to be able to take the pictures for the content I'm using. I use this micellar water as a toner and then yeah. I'm not in a rush because I still have like 10 days to post the content but like i said i want to be proactive i want to do it now and there's a jersey that i wanted to wear the gray one that i wore in the previous um vlog i just realized that i left my jersey at home i wanted to wear it today <laughs> anyway and after toning this is what i used to lotion my face i still have a little bit left but it's also running out then I just put a little bit of Epimax. I usually do a little bit of Epimax, but today I want to mix my Epimax with a little bit of oil because I want my skin to be extra dewy because the content is for the tissue oil. Yeah, that's and then when I'm done with the Epimax, I'm going to go in with this. So this is the sunscreen that I've been using for a very long time. This is the sunscreen that I trust. I like it because it does not leave a white cast on your face. It doesn't make you look like a sporky. I'm just going to let it sit on my face for a minute. And then after that, I'm going to start doing my makeup. I don't want to do too much makeup. I want it to be as light as possible. I know I don't have like crazy makeup skills and I never put too much makeup because I don't like too much makeup on my face but today I want it to be as much less makeup as possible. Do you see how it absorbs on the skin? I, I did not apply sunscreen. So I use the Revlon Color Stay 24 hours long wear makeup. This one. This one is for normal to dry skin. I use this one because I have dry skin. I think that's enough. Okay, I think that's enough. And then I usually use my fingers. It's the Revlon Color Stay Skin Awakening. It's got caffeine and vitamin C. It's a 24 hours long way. Okay, and then after concealing, I use this. This, this is a foundation stick, but I use it as a contour stick. It's a Wet n Wild Photo Focus Stick Foundation. Anyway, I take this and then I do this. See? And then after that, I get my Beauty Blender. 
after blending my face i'm gonna do my eyebrows with this eyeliner it's a smudge gel eyeliner it's a smudge gel eyeliner So I'm done. I did my eyebrows and my hair off camera. I can't find my small earrings. I don't know where I put them. So I'm just gonna leave like this. Since I'm going to Mr. Price anyway, so they always have like earrings and then I'll get earrings from Mr. Price. So we're done, we're dressed. Let's go. I did not even take an umbrella and the sun feels like it's too hot. Not hot, but then it's strong. I got the top that I was looking for even though it's not the color that I was looking for but then yeah so right now I just decided to go to Fornos to get some coffee and then after that I'm gonna go home and take pictures at home and I have this headache that I don't know where it's coming from so I'm thinking of postponing the content uh, for the campaign I think I will do it tomorrow or on Sunday because I'm off again on Sunday so right now I just want to drink some water or take some painkillers and then lie down or rest a little bit um, and then yeah I think I will take content for the campaign on Sunday or tomorrow uh, it will just depend if tomorrow I do get time because I'm working from home so I can do my makeup in the morning or during my first tea break and then take pictures during my lunch or when I knock off it will just depend but if I do not manage to take the content tomorrow I will take it on Sunday because Sunday I'm off so right now I just want to be lazy because my head is pounding and it wouldn't be because I'm hungry because I ate so I'm not sure if I should close this vlog here or I will see you guys tomorrow, but then I don't know. I will see, but then so far 
I'm just gonna lie down and have the rest of the afternoon just resting.